worked for um, a community program and I think she did it for a year. But I just remember that we would sit at the dinner table and uh, she was just sad, man. Like, you know, she, mm-hmm. she dealt with all these different traumas and kids that are, mm-hmm. uh, well, what's the word? There, there was a specific word when like things were very severe. I, I forget mm-hmm. the name of it. Um, but essentially she, she dealt with a lot of families and, and a lot of kids that, that were having a difficult time uh, for whatever reason. Um, for her, after a year, it, was, it wasn't something that she was going to be able to do long term just for, because of the, the mental uh, effect that it was having on her. How do you manage and, and deal with, with that, you know, trying to help people? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if the word that you were looking for was adverse childhood experiences. Um, mm, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, so we, we deal a lot with that. So because we are human... Um, It's very important to have self-care days Um, that consist of a lot of different things. So I make sure that at least once a month, I take a day or two off um, to decompress Mm -hmm. because it's true. There is something called this vicarious trauma. You think uh, it's like you, you carry such load and because we're not computers, you know, it's just close the computer and the, the information just stays there. No, we are human beings with, with feelings as well, emotions. So sometimes I want to rescue somebody, but I know that I can't. I can provide certain resources, but then individuals have choices to make for themselves. So as far as self-care, uh, I enjoy massages. <laughs> so maybe you're nice. <laughs> things that go on <laughs> under self-care. I mean, now with COVID, I have not gotten one, <laughs> but um, I do get like uh, my nails done. <laughs> yes. So people tend to comment uh, on, on my nails because they're <laughs> always done. <laughs> that is my thing. Um, also, I, I enjoy singing. I enjoy um, connecting with, with my faith. And for me, that's the most important thing. Oh, gotcha. So really trying to take a few days to step away from is, is it easy to uh, to turn it off or does that kind of linger in your mind? Because even from, I mean, I don't deal with, I can't even imagine having to carry, you know, that in my head. I mean, I work in technology and even I could be watching TV with my wife or I'm having a conversation and like, oh, you know, something comes in about something at work. Does, does that ever happen to you? I'm, I mean, uh, I would think it does, but. It, very often, but you learn to, you know how they say, leave work at work and don't bring it home. It's easier said than done. But as long as, like for me, as long as I know that I, I tried my best, mm. my best is enough. So the same thing that I tell my patients, you, your best is enough. That's, that's it. My conscience is clear. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to automatically stop thinking about the different scenarios that, you know, presented in my office, it just means that I have a clear conscience to know that I, I did a good job. And, but then there are some times where it's like, could I have done more? But then I, I, I remind myself, I, I try to practice what I preach. So we talk a lot about reframing our thinking and we counter things with the truth, the truth of the matter. X, Y, Z presented itself and you took ABC uh, steps and and that was enough that was sufficient we know that in one session we can't solve it all and the same thing that I tell people we're taking baby steps so I have to um, practice that same love patience and kindness that we give to babies I have to give that to myself <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> yeah